Hey everyone, this is Wonder Platinum. Uh, not doing an official stream this time. Uh, that's coming a little bit next year, but uh, been playing a bunch of the. Uh, finally got a uh, Dark Souls 2: Skull of First Sin for the uh, next gen versions. I played it uh, when it first came out last year on the uh, 360, and uh, but I never got to play the. Uh, what's it called? I never played with the any of the uh, DLC stuff. Um, and I was curious about some of that and uh, about some of the uh, remix stuff. So anyway, long story short, uh, here I am, new dex build. This is Kill Arena. Uh, my stats are pretty good. And uh, I'm going to be taking a few runs of the uh, Fume Knight just for funsies. Uh, assuming that I somehow can beat this, then I kind of want it uh, confirmed for posterity, honestly. So, uh... Talking for real, we're gonna get a few quick hits in here while we can. Get one of those. Okay, and I fucked that up. So, uh, honestly, when I first played uh, Dark Souls 2, I did a uh, strength build. And I was uh, pretty fresh off of a. Uh, fuck. I was pretty fresh off of uh, Dark Souls 1 when the first game came out. Like, I'd only. Shit. And yeah, let's get get hyped for uh, some more of that. But yeah, when the uh, Dark Souls 2 came out, I first I was pretty fresh off Dark Souls 1, so I was all about the uh, strength build at that time. And it wasn't until I played with uh, Dark Souls 1 late, late, more later and I played with different builds that I uh, came to realize something. That uh, Bloodborne kind of confirmed for me, and uh, playing through this was that uh, honestly the shield, that shields are a lie. Uh, shields are like shields are obviously part of the strategy, the same way that magic and a lot of stuff is. But it is, I feel like uh, playing this as a pure dex build uh, gave me the strong impression that the way that Miyazaki intended it to be played, or perhaps the secret true way, is uh, to go as light as possible and to, to basically take advantage of the roll and uh, to be able to uh, be maneuverable. Because honestly, uh, I've been running the dex build, and I haven't encountered too many problems outside of fuck. That uh, sometimes he'll do that second swing, and that always gets me. Because uh, I just don't have enough. Okay, and yeah, that's the other problem. I was too close to him there, so I ate the. Uh, getting a little greedy here, but I want to see if I can at least get that. Ah, nope. Problem is, uh, but yeah, it's uh, honestly, I haven't encountered too many major problems since I ran the deck since I've started running the dex build on this. I've got an Uchi Gatana that's a uh, plus 10 right now. Uh, for the most part, I've been rocking the Uchi Gatana and the uh, Rickard Drapier for this for this uh, build, and uh, honestly, those two have been working really well for me. Uh, like, I'm not seeing as much advantage of uh, pure strength scaling. Honestly, like, I heard a lot of people talking about how... So before I decided to do this uh, build, I did a little bit of research about uh, good dex weapons in the game, stuff like that. Um, and everyone kept talking about the uh, Black Steel Katana. And honestly, uh, so I was like, okay, and I was running uh, Iron Keep for a while to see if I could take advantage of that. And honestly, um, I came to the conclusion that the uh, Black Steel Katana honestly kind of sucks. Or at least it's not for me. Um, the scaling is definitely better than the... Uh, what's it called? The scaling is definitely better than the uh, Uchi Katana, which you can get earlier. But uh, the thing I found that was the deciding factor for me was that the... Uh, well, the Black Steel Katana has S scaling for skill for dex rather than a... Hmm, the uh, Uchi Katana's A rank scaling. Uh, the damage leveling, the damage you can get from pure leveling for the Uchi Katana is a lot better than the, uh, what's it called, uh, the Black Steel Katana's, like, damage bonus for scaling, for, uh, S scaling. So, like, uh, let me pull this up here real quick on this one. And, uh, let me see. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess I should talk a little bit uh, about my uh, what I've got going on here. So uh, Killarina here has got a 
plus three brigand set all around. I might it might be to my benefit to uh, improve that. So I've got the Uchi Gitana. Uh, I'm at a uh, 30 scaling now, uh, 35 scaling with, uh, I got the Dexterity Gring here in Broom Tower. Honestly, I came to uh, Broom Tower first uh, of the DLC areas. I'm pretty much finished with, the, wrapped up with the main story. I just got to deal with uh, Nishandra and uh, Aldia. So I wanted to get the, uh, so I want to get all the crown stuff dealt with so that way I can get the true ending and basically wrap up everything I missed uh, when I played through the first time. Um, so I came to Broom Tower first because honestly I really want that Elan shit. I really want uh, the Elan armor and the Elan weapon, although it looks like it has pretty low decks, but I think that could be uh, mitigated somewhat with the uh, bracing, uh, the bronze bracing ring or whatever it's called. So anyway, uh, so here's the Uchi Gitana. I've been running a pretty super light build. The uh, Brigand stuff is pretty lightweight and uh, for the most part, I've been rocking uh, the Uchi Gitana, the Rickards Rapier, and uh, a bow and a short bow, and together that puts me with uh, my with my uh, vit at a with my vigor at a around 30. It puts me at around uh, 23.3, so uh, pretty lightweight, which is good, and uh, get the strong benefit of the roll from that. So anyway, so my main problem is that the Uji Gitana is about plus five, is about uh, five pounds. Uh, my scaling is thirty with the extra five that comes with the uh, dexterity ring. Uh, I'm getting two thirty damage plus one hundred and two for uh, for this with a rank scaling. So with the uh, black steel katana, I'm getting I'm the problem is it's only at one hundred and eighty damage, but it's at one hundred and thirty six scale. But with a 136 scaling, that's still less than what I'm getting with the uh, Uchi Gitana. Now, to be fair, I understand that the uh, scaling is uh, shows greater benefits as you uh, increase as you uh, level up, uh, get closer to like 40 and 50 even with the uh, Dex with the uh, Dex rating. But uh, for right now, the Uchi Gitana is probably going to be the best one for me. The Watching Pole is a good weapon, but its uh, dexterity is still a little bit too low, and I don't haven't leveled it, or it's a uh, Damage ring is still pretty low, and I haven't leveled it as much as some of the other ones. So honestly, I'm kind of leaning more the Uchi Gitana. Um, I've been rocking the uh, Manslayer since I got that, and honestly, uh, the Manslayer I like a lot uh, for pretty for only a one pound uh, weight difference. Uh, the only it has the same uh, damage and scaling as the uh, Uchi Gitana fully upgraded at plus five or whatever because it uses the twinkling titanite and uh but it comes with a hundred extra damage for poison so honestly against a lot of regular enemies it's really good it turns out that a uh, uh rame here is not a uh, has no poison has like infinite poison resistance so there's basically no point in using it hmm. so the thing that was getting me with uh this guy for a while was that the uh, dodge on the uh, when he follows up for the fourth hit with that uh, main combo there? Is that it always uh, when he swings it like that? It was always uh, catching me because I was rolling more to the right and rather than uh, straight up uh, northwest or whatever northeast. So we're trying to just. Get a couple hits in here, not get too greedy. Alright. Ah, oh, jeez. See, I got greedy. Fuck! Mm. Damn it. I thought I was getting to uh, halfway there, so I got careless. But yeah, Manslayer is a super good weapon, and honestly, the uh, I've been I was always I've always been uh, hesitant about relying on a uh, like uh, stat effect type weapons in the Souls games, uh, just because they seem like they have a lot more effect on regular humans, not so much on uh, enemies and stuff like that. So for the most part, I've kind of avoided them. But uh, I noticed that with uh, poison, at least the uh, the the Manslayer has a high enough, uh, does enough poison damage at the beginning that against humans and against a lot of enemies, it's actually pretty useful. So honestly, I've been enjoying that. Um, 
I'm probably going to have to get the uh, skill weapon from uh, the Chancellor, from Chancellor Palpatine in uh, the castle. But I've been uh, neglecting that, honestly. I think I'm at a point where I can probably get that because I got fucked. Mm. I'm getting careless here. Okay, let's see if I can do this if he's gonna... Mm. That was clutch. I keep falling for that. I'm an idiot. Okay. Mm. Man. I gotta be more careful. So yeah, the main problem is that like because of the his longer sword, it's like the way that he trips you up is because he has that shorter sword, which has the closer uh, eye frames you can take advantage of. But then the uh, longer sword has that wider, has a whole other, has that much wider hitbox. So if you don't do like a diagonal roll, kind of going right past him and going under the sword, uh, then he'll tag you if you try and do a side roll. So that's the main issue I'm having with him. Like I said, so the main thing that, like, I know I'm looking really bad right here. I'm getting the pattern, but I really just don't have access to anything stronger, which I think would help. But, uh... Because I'm at least getting a couple hits in here. Okay. Hmm. That was too close. I got greedy. Okay, so just stick to one hit has been my strategy. One or two, if possible. And just, like, keep him at a... Okay, so you gotta watch out for this because he'll usually uh, parry and repost. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, I got greedy there. So I deserve that. But you didn't do too much damage to me. Okay, I managed to get away with that. Let's see if I can bait out a longer combo and uh, take an opportunity to get some Healy's. Yep. Okay, that's going to be... Mm. That was too much. Okay, and I keep getting hit by that because it's always got such a short build-up comparison, by comparison to the, some of the other stuff. Okay, we're probably going to be getting... God. Okay. Man, I'm playing uh, really risky here, honestly. I keep waiting for him to do his uh, power transition here. And I ate it. He didn't change there at the halfway point, which kind of surprised me. I don't know if that was a weird bug or if uh, the way I was fighting him, he just didn't go into his uh, transition there. And the other thing about the dex build is I feel like, at least with the uh, katanas, I haven't have been having as much problems with the uh, invaders, too. Now, I don't know if that could be just because not, a lot, not as many people are playing... Uh, Scholar on the uh, exponer here. But honestly, the people I have been fighting... And the thing was that, going back into this, I kind of wanted to experiment with uh, magic and uh, miracles and stuff. But I never... Well, I know that there was the uh, shitty PC bug that they had going on. Uh, but that they eventually fixed. That was uh, affecting the uh, durability and stuff. Uh, I don't know if they ever changed the way that they uh, patched uh, magic and miracles and stuff after uh, early on in the uh, life cycle of the uh, first game, or in Dark Souls 2 Vanilla. Oh wow, I, I fucking got lucky there. Call Daft Punk because I got lucky. Oh wow, now he's doing it way early. Okay, time to get the fuck out. Oh god, I can't believe I lived through that. Okay, and I'm gonna die here. Oh my god. Oh, 
Did I live? Oh my god, I'm alive. Um, fuck. Ah, okay. Mm. Well then. <laughs> I'm getting really close. Like, I'm just, uh... I had a round before I did, uh, before I was recording that, uh, I got pretty close to him, like around, uh, quarter health, and then I just fucked it up. The problem is, like, I understand his, uh, it's the same problem I have with some, a lot of the other bosses. Well, it's a little bit more pronounced than Bloodborne, because Bloodborne is more reflex-focused by, like, the way it plays more. Um, like, I understand the, uh, patterns. But it's just hard for me sometimes to, uh, in the heat of the moment, to uh, get that stuff down. Okay, just stick to one hit. I like that thing just doesn't hit after, like... It just doesn't impact, which is weird. Come on, come on. Ah, so it looks like that's also actually like deceptively safe, like that late in his uh, swing, or that early in his swing. Okay, I'm gonna try and get some of my stamp back here. Okay, back off. Is that? Nope, it is not. Yeah, that. His uh, great sword is about a foot, about a foot or a foot and a half longer than his regular ass sword. So I keep getting uh, thrown off by that. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, so, uh, playing through, uh, Scholar of the First Sin, uh, after ha only really playing through the, uh, core game, like, one and a half times, uh, back on the 360, uh, a few things I gotta say, uh, a Souls game in 60 FPS is fucking weird as hell, and honestly, I don't like it, and I can see why Miyazaki is more about the 30 frames per second. Like, obviously, uh, not every game needs to be uh, 30 FPS, but I totally get what he means by it being right for the feel of uh, the Souls games. Like, a uh, Platinum game, definitely, I would, I, uh, I think 60 FPS is better, just because the reaction time is more important. But I think the way that uh, it feels and plays uh, is better suited for sick for 30 rather than for a solid 30 rather than 60. Honestly, managed to tag him there. Just trying to. Uh, Get back to being careful, letting that uh, build up a little bit. Oh, oh wow, I was lucky. I was about as greedy as you could get. Okay, I'm set back. Oh god, fuck that. I hate it. Oh my god, I lived through that. Okay, okay, get back, get back. Okay, and then we got it. Very carefully roll through that. Ooh. Okay, get the health back. Really don't like that shit. Oh, again? Fuck you. Okay, roll through. Very carefully. Oh, wow, that was a. Uh... Now, I understand that the uh, main strategy is to uh, try and stay on his uh, right hand side now. God, that's so slow. It fucks me up. I hate it. Just because uh, he's a little bit more open on that side. It's like, because that heavy, that long, uh, the ult the dark ultra great sword attack or whatever, is so much slower, it always like throws me off. 
But it's like, you gotta stay next to him, otherwise... You can't capitalize on his, uh, cooldown time. So, yeah, um... Anyway, I feel like, uh, 60 frames per second is super weird. Uh, Dark Souls 2 is still a not great game, or at least not a great Souls game. It's still a good game, and I'd honestly play it over a lot of other games that are in a similar kind of vein. But, uh... Generally, it's just not as good a game. There are too many, uh... Like, I remember the complaint being that there are too many guys who are, uh... You have too many boss fights against just guys in armor. And I feel like that's definitely true. And, like, Bloodborne definitely you appreciate, especially... How much of it is, like, uh, weird monsters and shit. Some of those are like... Fuck! I... But for some reason, my, uh, dodge didn't go there. I hate that move, because sometimes when he's too close to you, like, it'll trap you on it, and then you can't, uh... A it doesn't actually come rolling around it. Okay. I probably could have gotten two there, but I'm not gonna get greedy. Because sometimes he'll follow up that short... or that, uh, low swipe attack with the, uh... Great sword, I fucking hate that shit. Okay. You know what? Let's get one in and back the fuck off. Okay, let's get our stand back. Okay. Alright, that was probably not a great decision. I'm gonna back off for this one. Oh, wow! Okay, I did... For some reason, I just didn't react to that. That was stupid. Fuck. But yeah, I mean, for the most part, like, Dark Souls 2, like, uh, a lot of the same problems remain, but, uh, the effort of, uh, adjusting some of the rooms and, uh, like, some of the fuck you rooms, which Dark Souls 1 certainly had, and, and like, Bloodborne and stuff, definitely have its fair share of, like, bullshit, but it's the kind of bullshit that it's manageable once you understand, like, you die to it once or twice, and then you're like, oh, okay, I get it. I can, uh, account for this in the future. But, uh, this one definitely has, like, a lot more, uh, fuck you style bullshit. Where it's just, like, fuck you hard. Whereas I think, uh, but yeah, I feel like there was a better effort in, uh, Scholar to, uh, adjust a lot of that stuff. Hmm. Watch him. That shit's really manageable once get his rhythm down, honestly. But it's like his weird side attacks that are fucking nonsense. And it's like, if you're too... If you move too far around him, that can still fuck you up because of how far his uh, wider strikes can go. Yep, I deserve that. I was... You played me like a goddamn fiddle. Mm. Oh wow, I thought I was farther. Oh my god, that should not have... Okay, time to back off. Mm. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay. Oh wow, I completely whiffed that shit. Oh, wow. Mm. Fuck. Hmm. Alrighty. So, yeah, and I did look up all his, uh... But yeah, I feel like the uh, 
there's a lot more thought put into enemy placement and stuff like that. So, like, for lore reasons, some stuff is uh, placed differently, which uh, is a nicer touch, and it does add a lot more than you would expect. So, uh, honestly, I'm enjoying playing through, uh, like, Dark Souls 2. I enjoyed playing through Dark Souls 2, and I'm enjoying playing through uh, Scholar for the most part. But, uh, yeah, it's just... It's just not the same. So, like, I'll definitely take it over, uh, like, Knights of the Fallen, which I just hate the art in that. Like, I feel like that, uh, like, I'm really not a fan of the Darksiders, like, Todd McFarlane style, like, 90s image comics art. Like, I'm, I really don't like it. I prefer, although this is, uh, generally closer to that, like, a lot of stuff is more, like, grotesque or just kind of, like, generic fantasy. Whereas, I feel like Souls manages to, uh, make Western fantasy, like, interesting. Like, honestly, for me, I have a lot of problems, like, getting into, uh, regular-ass Western fantasy RPGs. Uh, just because, like, I don't know, like, there are a lot of ones that are good, and I, like, enjoy them, but it's hard for me to... Mm. Wow, that was clutch. Wow, that still tagged me. I think it's because... Okay, let's pop some health while he's doing that. Mm. Okay. Whoa! Okay, I was I thought he was gonna bring his uh shit back! Oh my god! Okay, come on. Get back, get back. Okay. Mmm. That's way too much. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, yeah, so definitely coming to his right side feels safer for the most part. Yeah, see, I'm getting too far out, and then it's uh, tagging me on the fuck. <clears throat> Bryce, I hate you. Nobody likes you, Fume Knight. You motherfucker. Oh man, I completely whiffed that. That's bad. Oh my god, I was just outside his range. Okay, so hopefully... Oh my god, I'm getting really close. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh man, that was good. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me. So, uh there we go. I beat the Fume Nine all on my own. Thanks again and uh Oh, god. Figures I would fuck this up. See you next time.